you can tell when your car battery's dying. But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Wait, don't trash that used or broken computer, monitor, or TV. Do the right thing. Recycle your unwanted or non-working electronics for free. You can recycle computers, monitors, and televisions with eCycle Washington. Households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations may drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Find the location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org and click on Where Can I Recycle? That's eCycleWashington.org. Your driver's license is important so you can get back and forth to work, get your kids to school, and back and forth to daycare. If your license has been suspended because you can't pay your tickets, you can't do any of those things. Let's talk about Chapter 13 bankruptcy. You may have heard the tickets cannot be discharged, but they can be dealt with in a Chapter 13 case. Why not come in for a free consultation? The chapter you choose will make all the difference to your getting back legally on the road. Let's design a plan to pay off your tickets and restore your license immediately. I'm attorney Travis Gagné. Please contact me today at ChooseTheRightChapter.com. That's ChooseTheRightChapter.com. 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. I don't know, man. Harvard University thinks because, oh, we got a bunch of smart people. They can tell us. They can get in my business. That's what they're doing right now. Okay. They're saying that sex carries some risk for transmitting COVID-19 from one partner to the other. And they recommend at Harvard, among other practices, that we start wearing face masks while having sex with each other. <laughs> Nothing says hot than a face mask. Well... I don't know, man. I mean, some of them, it depends on, I mean, I've seen some pictures and maybe it's just because, you know, I mean, the covering of a woman's face, I've never understood the allure of it, but Mm -hmm. man, I have to tell you something. I'm starting to understand the idea of some cultures covering the face that, you know, only being able to see the eyes, that's actually quite alluring. I never thought of it before because I've always been able to see the face, but now everybody's covering their face. It does direct your attention to their eyes. Unless sometimes, yeah, no, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. (laughs) But no, it directs your attention to their eyes, and it's interesting, though. But what if, like, they pull up the mask, and it's, like, somebody who just, like, you know, has no teeth? (laughs) That's why maybe the mask might be good for me. I I got news for you. I think I got good eyes. Mm -hmm. So I think if you put a mask on me, everybody wins. (laughs) I'm just saying. So I I like your point. I think your point works perfectly for me. I should keep my mask on, and everybody's going to have a good time. What kind of mask would you wear, though, in in the throes of passion? Would you have like kind of like a a fun little theme on it? Would it just be like one color? I mean, red is supposedly a sexy um, color, so you wear like a sexy silk mask. The Silence of the Lambs mask that they had, uh, you know, on. uh, I was thinking that Scream Ghostface Killer mask. Oh, Oh, great! I was thinking more like Bane. Be like, yes, (laughs) I'm Bane, and I'm giving it to you. Wow. <laughs> wow, I, I feel like I'm there. Yeah. Wow. That's, that's wow. amazing. Oh. Oh, Batman. Tom Hardy, is he in the room? Is this is this amazing? Yeah. Some call me Tom Hardy. Oh, do they? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Some people do. Yeah, the research ranked that uh, your frisky behavior uh, based uh, on how, you know the different kind of situations you can be in uh, sexually, and they ranked that on how likely it is to catch coronavirus while in the act. And uh, they said, yeah, wearing the mask for the riskiest sex scenario, uh, which, I mean, look, there are things that are done that you can't have the mask on for. So what do you do then? You just don't ever do those things? I, I would imagine in, in, in this time, maybe you have to refrain from doing those, especially well, I mean, unless you're with someone that you know is completely... I don't know. I dude. mean, even kissing is like, how do you do that with the mask? It's hooker rules. It's hooker rules. Yeah, no okay. kissing. I'm so proud that somebody on my show is really familiar with all the hooker rules. No yeah. kissing the mouth. Didn't I'm you watch a, Pretty Woman? Uh, you know something? Again, I, I, you know, I'm just not up to date on my hooker rules. Is there just one, or is there more than one hooker? Well, that's rule? That's the only one that comes to mind. Okay. Uh, well, I did see. Uh, I, I, I saw like a brothel like come up with like a list of like ways that you can. That their employees can still do their job in this COVID world. So they literally in. have hooker rules. Yes. Okay. So they make all right. So I mean, like you know, Snoop Dogg sang about something that that that's one way because then at least your mouths are not. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, right. Yeah, all right. So you basically the way Fido does it, you do it. Yes. Okay. Or like maybe if you're in a western, but a reversal of it. Oh, all right. If you're, yeah. if you're all right. So in other words, if you're a cowboy and a cowgirl, mm-hmm. all right. You mm-hmm. want you know, and and maybe you should reverse yourself once in a while. So I said, would it be wrong to just throw a paper bag over the person's head? 
I mean, that's up to you. Again, I feel like if you're with me, there is no wrong answer when it comes to covering my face. I think, sir, that would work. Ma'am, that would work. But Rose in Tacoma says, my mask has middle fingers all over it. Oh, okay. That's cool. I think I'd want one to say, ooh, or something like that. Like my, my, my naughty one. Are you sure you ooh. wouldn't want it printed to be like your naughty face so it doesn't look like there's anything different? Oh, or like the Rolling Stones tongue thing. So yeah. Like, ah. Oh, the tattoo. Or used. Gene yeah. Simmons tongue. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. They get like a little extender on the mask. Yeah. So it goes down a little yeah. bit past your chin. Okay. Fair enough. These are all great ideas. <laughs> I just feel like, do I want to keep on living if this is what I? Ha- I mean, if if I'm in the if I'm in my home with the person. Yeah, they, but they're saying this is like a situation where someone's just like, I can't, I can't hold up anymore. I'm going to invite over my booty call. Oh, I see. So if you have an out-of-house corona situation. Right. Clearly, if like you're oh. married and you've been with each other and you know where oh. each other's been. So this is for random hookups. Yeah. Or someone that's not necessarily living in your home that you haven't seen in a while. All right. So they're saying keep your mask on, avoid kissing, shower before and after, and clean the space with alcohol, wipes, or soap. Wow, this is very romantic. <laughs> <laughs> but they, uh, I love this. Are you ready for this? The safest approach to sexual activity, according to the researchers... Is not having any. Okay, thank you. Thank you for that, Dr. Obvious. Wouldn't have known. Yeah, I know that if I stay in my house and don't go out and don't see anybody, guess what? I have the littlest chance of, uh, of getting the virus. You're right. Um, okay, I want to know if I'm the weird one in this situation with masks. <laughs> oh, here we go. Okay, so I'm, well, uh, I'm You are on. the weird one, so we'll see if masks makes it okay. any different. Well, I got my mask. I like to play this fun game where I'm like, like okay, I'm at a store and I'm checking out. And so they can't see your face. So they don't know if you're smiling or not. So I just kind of like curse them out without saying the actual words out loud. But I'm like. Oh, you do that. You do that with your mask on. Yeah. Do you guys do anything fun with your mask on or no? <laughs> they can still <laughs> see your face. Oh, well, you're probably wondering. Like, they I'm maybe, a little less like, I'm like, you know, but I'd be like this. I'd be like. <laughs> and so right now you're, you're cursing me out. I'm calling you a poop head. Oh, okay. But in a different word. You might want to dump it. You seem so. You seem so happy. So I mean, yeah. I don't think people would really notice if you're like smiling when you do it. I'm just having fun. It's like the stupid things. I'm trying to entertain myself in this stupid world we're in right now. You really are. I mean, it is, what's amazing to me is that you really do find uh, uh, entertainment in yourself. I, I mean, I look at that and I think I would probably argue with my brain going, is this what you came up with? This is your idea of fun? Yes. And you, you doing it like, hey, this is a blast. Yes. It's, no, uh, I've never, let's see if I could curse out the cashier. I, um, <laughs> I haven't been to the store much well, because Sarah won't let me go out. But, oh, that's a good point. Um, I did, well, yesterday I had my mask on because I got my car washed. Mm-hmm. So I was able to do that and I had the mask on. And you know, t- mm-hmm. But I didn't, I'll have to try cursing out the guy next time see how that works out. I mean, it's been times where I'm like customer service on the phone. It's no different. Like I'm talking to a person, I'm being very polite, but I'm like flipping them off on my phone. Like screw you. I don't yeah, know see, why. It's I've like, done I, that before. I'm the, the problem is, is I'm very mean on the phone to customer service anyway. Oh. That's the thing. I probably should practice being nice, like mouthing out, no, I really like you. You're really great. Well, I'm just screaming and yelling nice. about how I don't like their product. So, so I'm with you, Steve. I've been doing that stuff under my mask as well. Oh, all right. Well, look, you've got a partner in Curse whatever the hell buddies. it is that is. Hey, if it makes you feel good and you're not hurting anybody, why not? Right, I don't genuinely, genuinely mean it. I don't know that person. They could be the nice, but and I'm, I'm not like being rude to them. I'm just having fun, you know, mouthing bad words. At them. Be careful because if they're hard of hearing and have X-ray vision, they can read your lips. Oh, Damn geez. it, and you're in trouble. Uh-huh. And See, there is that one guy who works at Trader Joe's that has X-ray vision. Yeah, there's that what? guy. Yeah, yeah, you didn't know that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. oh his name's Clark. It's the Tacoma one. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Clark and Produce. Oh, okay. Never he's, could tell with those guy. glasses on. So it's a curse behind your mask, Steve. You're really weird. I'm trying that today from Chris. <laughs> 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 hey, look, man, you got to vent. You got to do what you got to do. So I can understand. I can understand the holistic uh, health benefits of just venting any way you can. We, you got to do what you got to do. I'm just. I'm stuck with this dumb mask on. I might as well have some fun with it. Yeah, my wife's having a hard time. I, every time I talk to her, she says, I can only go into two stores. She tries to do all of her errands and the mask. It's driving her crazy. I hate it because I just don't like feeling like my upper lip is sweating. I feel like all the time when I have a mask oh, on. Oh, that's a tough feeling. And so you, you want to like just kind of wipe it or yeah. something, but then you look like you have a runny nose and you, that that's freaking people out. Oh, it's allergy season, so it's so hard. So it's like the second I get back oh. to my car, I just like lower it. Like, oh, <laughs> gosh. Yeah, I, it, it's... I would like to get tips from anybody that's worn masks a lot because I know there are people that have been wearing masks. I've seen them in the airports many, many times uh, long before Corona happened. Do they got any tips? You know, because uh, like, 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 you know, because we're noobs. How do we do this? It's that mask life, man. We're doing the best that we can with it. <laughs> that mask life, baby. 
But now here's some bad news in the world of food. KFC has started getting rid of its potato wedges and replacing them with normal fries. I don't know if I'm okay with this, man. Yeah, yeah a lot of people aren't, Steve. Uh, mm. They've been calling them their secret recipe fries. I, I'll tell you something. I'm not a potato wedge guy anyway. It's not why I go to KFC. I like the mashed potatoes, and I like the gravy, and I like the chicken. So The potato wedges are so good, though. I, I haven't had them, so I don't know. I don't miss them. And- but if they've got seasoned recipe, secret recipe fries, I mean, I, I like fries. But look at those wedges, man. It's something different. No. Yeah, I'm not a wedge guy. The girthier, the better, man. Truth. Truth. uh, Yeah, but again, we're talking about uh, fries. No, I'm not. Uh, Oh, okay. (laughs) Oh, but there's something like they, 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 I don't know what it is. They have like that good, like crunchiness on the outside, and then they're just like soft potato in the inside. People are not happy, dude. The social media response to the end of wedges has been mostly negative. So people are feeling like you. Um, I don't know if this is going to be like a new Coke, old Coke kind of thing where or it's Sonic the Hedgehog. Yeah. But they're just, <laughs> they're just baiting us, and we're going to have both. We're going to have secret recipe fries and potato wedges. I mean, wouldn't that be cool? I like how one person wrote, McDonald's has their own fries. Checkers has their own fries. Burger King has their own fries. Now, I don't know what the hell, who the hell told KFC to switch to fries instead of wedges, but they need to take that off the menu. Wedges are legendary for KFC. I opened up my bag and I saw this and it hurt. It hurt. Oh, they just assumed they were getting wedges and they got fries. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Well, I can see that. If you don't know, that's what's happening. That's like getting, getting, that'd be like yeah. a Red Robin changing their bottomless fries. Oh, yeah. they so, like better not topless? ever. Yes, the <laughs> topless fries. Ooh, topless fries. I would pay for that, my friends. Yes, as long as there's pasties on it, I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> Who put these with pasties on my on fries? No. Come on, <laughs> well, well, fries. I'm down. I want my fries naked like they were meant to be. <laughs> was there any issue with like? Uh, Yes, there was. There was a big commission, and it was people were very, very upset about. I don't, you know, I don't. Again, I think it's a secret. I think really do just think it's a secret plot to get us get talking us about KFC, and then eventually it'll go back because we heard you, public. Yeah, we're public. changing. We heard you, public. Back to our wedges. Yeah, yeah. There's, uh, there, there's. I, I don't know if this is the time to upset people. That's the problem. You know, normally people have the, the they have the threshold of emotions that they can deal with not, you know, not having their favorite food maybe. But right now food is a massive soother and if you mess with food right now, I don't think it's smart. I mean, honestly, I, I would talk to anybody in marketing and go, whatever you are planning to do that what's new, don't do it. I mean, the pandemic itself was something where you'd say, let's just keep things as normal as possible because people need normal. And now, of course, with the unrest we have in our country, again, you don't want to add more change. We are already going through lots of change. And I bet if I look on Twitter, there will be someone that says, we're dealing with protests and riots, and now you're going to change our French fries? You know, that, 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 I wouldn't be surprised if somebody put that out there, Steve. I mean, you know, social media being what it is, are it you would sure not you just, shock me. Yeah, are you sure you just didn't read that? Yeah, are you um, sure? I mean, I've read things today. <laughs> that might be in my draft folder. <laughs> I have to tell you, you know, sometimes stupidity knows, you know, it just knows, it knows nothing. Stupidity is common in humanity. Uh, you know, I have read things in my own industry today where I am just dumbfounded, like, Wow, the cluelessness of just people is just amazes me. So yeah, I wouldn't be a, surprised. There's a radio show in the Midwest that believes that KFC should have regular fries. Yeah, well, they oh, should. They, I mean, I'm, if they're still on the air, they after should be the, fired. It's unbelievable to me because, yeah. So, Steve, you are you are adamantly opposed, and it's good to know. Although someone says, I don't know what you're all talking about. The only potato you should be eating at KFC is the mashed potato. I'm agree. I'm 100% agree on that. You can have the mashed potatoes and the wedges. Yeah, so you I can't don't. eat the mashed potato while you're driving home. Oh, you can't, can you? Well, I mean, you can like slurp it like a, co- a drink or something. Now you know my I'm, style. I'm picturing like when you uh, eat a Jello shot. That's the same thing. Just uh, 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 <laughs> now you know what the people up. get to look at when I'm driving. I'd get into a car accident if I looked to the left. I saw the driver next to me is slurping mashed potatoes. <laughs> Steve, come drive to Mercer Island anytime you want, because that's what you're going to be seeing, brother. DJ and Migs mornings on the Rock. 99.9 KISW. If your tank water heater's over eight years old, you may be sitting on a ticking time bomb. It could start leaking without warning, causing far more damage than the loss of the heater itself. Consider replacing it with a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to leak, endless hot water for spa-like comfort, longer life, and backed by Navian strong warranty. Before time runs out, visit TanklessMadeSimple.com for the name of your Navian contractor. Count on Navian.
Take back your space. Stop storing old electronics you'll never use again. Recycle your computers, monitors, and televisions for free with eCycle Washington. This free program can be used by households, small businesses, public schools, and other organizations across the state. Drop off unwanted TVs, computers, and monitors at over 300 locations in Washington State for free. Please check for the drop-off location nearest you at eCycleWashington.org. That's one word, eCycleWashington.org, and click on the Where Can I Recycle link. 99.9 99.9 KISW, The Rock of Seattle. According to Greg Daniels, he's the guy that created the TV show The Office. He said there was a brief moment when the series writers considered making Michael Scott, that's the Stephen Carell lead character. Okay. They were considering making Michael Scott a killer. He was doing an interview and he shared one dark plot point that bounced around the writer's room before he stepped in and said, Hey guys, what the heck? He said, quote, there were times when the writers would become enamored with a joke so much that I'd have to come in, I'd have to put my foot down. He said, for instance, they really wanted Michael to kill Meredith with his car. He said, that was an early pitch where he runs her over in the parking lot and then comes back, gets a tire iron, and finishes the job. And Greg is like, what? You can't do that. That's crazy. Now, in the series, Michael did hit Meredith with his car as the opener of season four, and it became a Spoiler joke. Spoiler alert, man. I haven't Sorry, gotten that. I know. I haven't uh, watched episode you're... one yet. And uh, I mean, they make it a running joke for the whole series, for that whole season, but I mean, he just hits her with the car. He doesn't kill her. So they were, I don't know, man. That sounds like it would have been a pretty epic season. It, could you imagine coming in the next day? Like, you know how a lot of people go on, like, you know, they come to work or wherever it is, and they're like, oh, did you watch the season opener of Parks and Rec or The Office? I can't believe he killed. I would, I would, as a person who's never watched The Office, I'd be like, I need to now start watching this show. Yeah, that would have been disastrous. It probably, long term, would be a bad idea. <laughs> what? It would be a bad idea short term, just because I know the show. Uh huh. It just would be. It, it's just not that show. That's he's an idiot, but he wasn't a bad person. He's just an idiot. And I think if he could literally He'll be an idiot that killed his coworker, yeah, I think it's a I just I think it's a different show if you Probably, do it. But uh, yeah. it's like Dexter all of a sudden. Yeah, exactly. Then you got a whole different show. Well, um, then in the whole the whole show is every season. At some point, he runs over another person on the show, and well, then you have to figure out who it's going to be. That was um, and Steve, your idea is not a stupid one. There was a dark comedy. Oh, I thought it was no, uh, Vicky. You know the show. You remember it's in Rev Two, a show called Misfits. There was a character every season. The character something would happen to what? What the uh, the one that was in charge of the, uh, the the community outreach people? Something always happened to that person. Oh yeah, basically it was uh, the, oh. sort of like the, the head social worker of the program that yeah, these kids exactly. were doing community service for. Every season, whoever that person was, something bad happened to them. Damn. Yeah. yeah. So the, your idea is not a dumb one. It's just it, the, the Misfits definitely had a whole different feel yeah. to it than The Office. So <laughs> I'm just uh, trying so to picture like, you know, Steve Carell's character. I, I don't know a lot about The Office, but I know his character. And just like the whole documentary style of the show, him just like referencing running over a coworker. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean they kind of did that in season four where he did hit her with a car. Right. It's just she, she didn't die. And and uh, Meredith was a fun character because she just liked to party. She just liked to drink, and uh, she was just that ratchet wild lady who was probably in her forties. And so you know, it just wasn't a good look for her. Loved her. And then so like, oh yeah, I mean, because did you say that then he would like go back and then just keep? Yeah, he used a tire iron. Yeah, he would go back with a tire okay. and finish the job. That's which the dark be, part, I guess. Yeah, that's the very dark part. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that's where you go. I don't know how you make him a likable guy. Imagine that's how the, the episode ends. Yeah, that would you're be just like you're like. What the hell did I just watch? Yeah, I mean, you you'd sit there and go. It would be like just anybody on How I Met Your Mother. Imagine if Barney all of a sudden, you know, he was always considered a womanizer. Right. What if he went out and actually did something horrible to a woman? I mean, that's right. kind of like you go. This even if you or try to he make loved it dark, laser tag, and what if one time he didn't use a laser tag gun, and he was just like taking and use a real out. gun. Yeah, yeah. It's sort of like I don't know how you come back from that. But <laughs> man, the mind f you would have put an audience through if they've invested three seasons into loving this show and they're like this is my favorite comedy of all time and then season four starts with a murder yeah that would mess with people that would be total i mean that's just i understand why the writers wanted to do it and the only guy that you'd suspect that would do that if you know the office would be dwight 
Dwight is the only one with a twisted enough mind where you go, you know, I could see Dwight actually somehow, some way, just finishing yeah, off the but job. In so, his his own weird way, he like upholds the law. It's like, so, he's right. about, it's so like, true. I don't think he would actually be the one to do that. You're right. I forgot. If anybody that would, yeah, he probably would turn Michael in. He'd have to. Who's yeah. Toby? Because a lot of people are saying that that would. That's the what character. I was thinking. Oh, yeah. Toby was the human. He was the uh, the HR guy who seemed like he was a serial killer. That's just the way he be. Yeah, Toby was a great character. Yeah, didn't character. they think he was like the Scranton Strangler or something? Yes. Oh, remember, that's, oh yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah. I remember reading about that. Yes. <laughs> Poor Toby. So they could get in cahoots together. Well, if they were sort of at odds. That would have brought them together. Michael and Toby would have actually been partnered up on something for once. Because they were, they, I mean, they were, Michael thought there was no point to having, having a human resources officer. He thought it was the dumbest job ever. And this is at the time of our societal existence where human resources and people's behavior in the workplace really started being monitored. And I love that Michael Scott was like, what are you doing here? You're the most useless job ever. And we're like, it's like, you know, Michael, I'm here because of people like you. I have to be here because of people like you. I'm trying to think of like other sitcoms that could have taken a dark road. You know, like friends, like. Yeah. Well, would have like, who, who would have been on, on Phoebe would have turned into a cannibal. Yeah, or Ross would have paid, basically take, feed her friends to the cats. Yeah. <laughs> Smelly cats. Yep. Or or, or there's the there's no taking a break. There is. Oh, you want to take a break? Nobody can be with you. And then anybody who that, that oh, it goes like oh, psycho. Yeah, like right. locks her in the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ooh. See? What if what if Joey was in the mob? What if you know Joey just was this dumb guy, but he wasn't actually. He was some sort of. Oh, he was a made man. He was an assassin. <laughs> oh, yeah. a hitman. That'd be yeah. badass. How cool would that be? How about Seinfeld? Seinfeld. Yeah, I'm trying to think of. <laughs> well, George did kill somebody. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's right. He killed his. Yeah, yeah. He, oh, yeah. He killed his fiance. Yeah, with the stamps. Alert. Yeah, bad stamps. Oh, bad oh that's right. Yeah, I thought he like legitimately tried to kill her. Well, what if he was legitimately killing all of his girlfriends? With bad, with bad stamps. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then it was just like this whole season was the build up to what creative way is he going to get the person to lick the stamp? Yeah. I, lick I, the I, stamp. Yeah. I think George is the, <laughs> What's yeah. the deal with these I stamps? I mean, you're not surprised. George had anger issues. <laughs> so what's a current surprise? sitcom that's popular. Like, oh, well. Uh, Mom. Oh, well, uh, yeah, mom is, yeah, I'm trying to think. She what do killed I watch? the kids. Yeah. <laughs> Might yeah. as well have. That would be a better reason for them writing <laughs> out the kids just, than now. Instead of writing them Yeah, off. they're not there. Yeah. Uh, here's the thing. We already do have one. It's called, uh, oh, God, uh, uh, on HBO, Barry. Barry. I yep. mean, Barry really is. Barry's a great show. Yeah. I mean, Barry is the show you're talking about. I mean, he's a guy who's out of his mind. There's also, there's also granted, it's not a sitcom, but it's Killing Eve. It is a love story between... Basically, two people that have tried to kill each other multiple times, and they make you believe that they actually love each other, even though one's a massive assassin and the other one's on the manhunt. I mean, they your ideas have finally been brought to fruition, Steve, because you would say- But I'm so, thinking more of like a fun comedy oh, that well. goes down a dark road. Like one person says, that 70s show, Red gets tired of all those kids in the basement and kills them. Oh, well, what about the Big Bang Theory? Or he replaces the weed with like PCP, and then things oh, just get whoa. crazy. Damn. So instead oh. married with children, Al Bundy, his foot fetish has gone too far, and he starts cutting off customers' feet. Oh. Okay. I like that. You know, I, mean, just, I don't even know if he technically had a, sh- a foot fetish, but he well, went to a shoe he, store. Then he could carry it over to Modern Family, and he would just basically strangle people in the closets of his closet company what in Modern Family. What if he changed Family. his Boom. name? Yeah. What if it is Al Bundy? Yeah, what if it is Al Bundy? Changed his name, went into like a, a different place, started a whole new family with a younger wife. Yeah. Right. And he's still the same old foot fetish killer guy. And the reason why he's this way is he's always had issues with his older brother, Ted. Yeah. Oh, Ted Because, Bundy. let's be honest, <laughs> you have, why do you have closets? It's a place to keep your shoes. So it's a two and a half man. Actually, I have half of a man in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Where'd Jake go? So Don't you find out it. that Jake was not the half man they were talking about, but there's this poor, was it vivisected guy yeah, or bisected guy, and there he is. I'm the half man. Uh, vivisected? I, I forget. I, that's a word. I just don't know what it exactly Me means. Me too, Billy. Big words. I know. Well, after reading that stupid article, I feel like I, I got to make more words in my vocabulary so I feel smart. <laughs> yeah, I try to. I, I don't. Cheers. I feel like something alcohol related, of course. Yeah. That's an old show, though. Ooh, the Golden Girls. Yeah. Ooh, the go- well. So, well, it could be. Yeah. What if they're just like a like a, a crew of like I don't know mercenaries for R. Kelly. <laughs> For a R. crew Kelly. of mercenaries for R. Kelly. Yes. What does that look like? Do oh, they have they're... super soakers filled with urine? I don't know. What do yeah. they do? No. They, 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 you know, I haven't really fleshed these out. No, you really haven't no. fleshed them. No, I think you're one. just going on the whole golden part there, aren't you? Pretty much. That's what he yeah. did there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like I it. That's what it was. I like it, though. <laughs> Saturday Night Live. 
Where they just push Pete Davidson off a cliff. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I that's feel just like what that's you're your for show. There, buddy. That's this just your just, dream. Yeah, that's true. I, would, I don't want harm to happen to him. I'm trying to think of a popular sitcom right now that I'm watching. I'm not broke. Sure. We're watching Broke. That's a fun one. I don't even know what that is. It's a show on uh, one of the networks. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, oh, like this sister. She's married to some rich guy from another country, but like he screws up and loses all of his money, so they move in with her broke sister and her and the sister's kid, and now they're all trying to coexist. And like, oh. and the rich guy, he's got like a. A guy that works for him that stays with him regardless of the fact that he can't pay him, but the dad's paying him with the money and all that. It's a, it's, it's, it's just a silly sitcom, but it's pretty funny. It's got the chick from you can do it. Oh, I don't even one know. of the NCIS type. Chicks. Yes, the, that, she's the goth chick, right? Yeah, she's oh. like one of the stars. Ooh, she's still goth in this one. Polly Perrette. Polly, per- yeah, I have no idea who Polly Perrette she is. Show a picture. You'll know if you see her. Yeah, Let's she's see. the literally the goth one. Oh, whoa. Yeah, I've never watched. She's NCIS. like a. She's so like I a, don't know. She's like a, a metal rock chick because she's always wearing like Guns N' Roses t shirts on the show and things like that. Yeah, I, that's a good look. That's a, that's that's definitely a good look. Yeah, she was almost a reason why I'd watch that stupid show. I never did, but like right. that, that was the only finally reason. she's in a show you'll watch. Yes, and it's actually a pretty. It's just a mindless comedy, but I enjoy it. I mean, I don't know if you'll like it. Isn't that sort of just redundant <laughs> that you enjoy mindless comedies? That's I mean, a solid yeah. point. Yeah. What if, someone says, what if Frazier used his medical practice to hypnotize people into doing evil things? Oh, yes. And then, of course, this is a – I mean, they get a towel from Malcolm in the middle. He leaves to go to New Mexico and starts selling meth. Breaking oh, bad. well, and Frazier, the darkest one of all, what if the reason we never see Maris, Niles' wife, is because he killed her and he's just got her in the closet? Boom. That is the darkest you can go on that show because we never saw her. And Howard from The Big Bang Theory, he never had a mother. It was just him making that voice because his mom, you know, he did something bad to her. And that's why we never saw her. I mean, I just want to go dark. I mean, because remember, we never saw her. She always yelled from the other room, but. Like a, like a Bates Motel kind of a thing? Yeah. <sighs> what if it was him? He Whoa. would just be like a ventriloquist and, you know, he'd go in the other and make it sound like it was somebody in the other room. Or he just had pre recorded stuff. Yeah. And there she is in a chair just decomposing. Is this getting too dark? Who brought this up? Um, Steve. Yeah. I, Good I job, Steve. Call, dude. Yeah. Can we go back in time to the last segment where we talk about things we instantly regret? Yeah, that's a good call. <laughs> Trying to come up with yeah. murder storylines for comedies. I know. You asked me to do it. I mean, you know, I'm a sick person. Don't, don't ask a sick person to do these things. Well, we should pitch these to um, yeah, we should. NBC. Oh, okay. I think we might have to go to the cable networks for some of these. Let's go to FXXXXXXX. I think they would take some of these shows. Right. Today's podcast was brought to you by Travis Gagne, bankruptcy attorney. He's here right now and has agreed to answer more of your questions about bankruptcy. How do I know if bankruptcy is going to provide me with relief? What are the steps for my situation? Uh, There's so much information out there about bankruptcy with the internet and uh, what people have heard from friends and and other people that they've talked to about their financial issues or or bankruptcy. Uh, There's there's also a lot of bad information out there or, or urban legends about bankruptcy. In order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you need to talk to an attorney that's experienced in bankruptcy. So in order to determine whether bankruptcy makes sense for you, you should talk to an experienced bankruptcy attorney and right my job is not to convince you to file bankruptcy my job is to help you to to make that decision and have all the facts uh, so that you can make an informed decision about whether bankruptcy makes sense for you what benefits it's going to have for you and what the downside of filing bankruptcy is thanks travis if you have more questions about bankruptcy you can reach out to travis anytime at choose the right chapter.com you can tell when your car battery's dying But with your water heater, you'll never know until it starts leaking. Before you buy another tank, consider a Navian tankless water heater. No storage tank to heat or leak. Lower energy bills and endless hot water for spa-like comfort. All backed by Navian's strong warranty. If your water heater is over 8 years old, it's time to check out Navian at tanklessmadesimple.com. Count on Navian. 